My dad always came home from work and played the dorkiest pranks on me and my mom. We once worked on a puzzle for weeks, only to find out that he had stolen the last piece. But then six years ago, when he lost his job, things began to change. He started drinking. A lot. He forgot birthdays. He forgot movie nights. He forgot about his family. My mom tried to hide the uglier moments from me, which was useless when my dad came crawling in wasted every night. Don't you guys have anything else to do? Always watching fucking TV. I live here with fucking idiots. Neil, why don't you leave a room? Vijay, again? I've told you so many times not to swear in front of our daughter. Our daughter? Why don't you just go head over to Nikhil, yeah? Yes, our daughter. What are you talking about? Why would I go to Nikhil's house? Don't lie to me. I know that you'd be much happier with him. In this house, you're always annoyed. You're always pissed off. You always fucking piss me off. But with him, we'd be one happy little family. He'd be the perfect husband, the perfect father, everything you ever wanted, yeah? Why don't you go fuck him and get it over with? Vijay, stop bringing up Nick in every single conversation. Maybe if you started acting like Leah's father or came home sober for once or help me around the house, maybe I wouldn't yell at you so much. I'll start acting like her father the second you stop acting like a little bitch. Vijay, please. I'm tired. Don't you see that? Please just stop drinking or go to an AA meeting or I'll talk to Arjun. Please, anything. Always about the fucking drinking. Just go to your daughter, fucking get lost. Every night pretty much looked like this one. My dad was belligerent and drunk. My mom was upset and frustrated, and I was upstairs feeling useless and alone. It was clear that my dad was just as miserable and hopeless as my mom and I were. I finally heard him admit that my mom wasn't happy with him. He knew he was burdening her. I've held on to so much hatred for my dad, but I guess I never really stopped to think about his own misery. But then again, even if I did, would it have changed anything at all? Leah, make sure you talk to Mina Auntie. Your daughter recently got into Stanford. Yeah, I got it. And remember to talk to Anjali for her dance she's contact, okay? Yeah, I got it, Mom. <sighs> my mom really thought like she would ever even have time to take me to dance practice with my dad around. I'm just waiting for him to walk in and ruin the night like he always did. Oh, and just as I remember, there yes. he was. How are my two favorite gals doing? Huh? I'm thinking that. Watch a movie. Vijay, no, fun. we have a family friend party to go to. I told you ten times now. Come on, lighten up, yeah? No, I've already told your sister that we're going. For fuck's sake. Leah, you want to stay home? Hey, Vijay, no. Yeah, let's just go. It's only oh. just for a few hours. Alright, why don't you guys go? Yeah. Enjoy Vijay, what are you doing? Stop! Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, AJ, stop! Don't do that! To be honest, this is how most family events went. I rarely saw my family or friends because my mom and I were always covering for my dad. I've heard my mom make up the most ridiculous lies. I mean, everyone knew my dad was an alcoholic, but God forbid if anyone ever said it out loud. People looked at us like we were broken, but no one. Not my aunts, not my uncles, not my cousins, grandparents, or family friends ever admitted it. Was it their responsibility? 
why was everyone so fucking afraid to just say it? Leo, what are these groups? These are unacceptable. Look at me now, Auntie Zara. She's getting straight A's and a perfect SAT score. Yeah, Mom. Well, it's not that easy to focus on school when you and Dad are fighting at home every single night. And stop comparing me to other kids. It's not like you do half the things that me and Auntie does. What does that mean? If you think we're anything like me and Auntie's family, you're nuts. After everything that I sacrificed for you and for your dad, how can you say that to me? Look, Leah, uh, I know that it's hard, but you shouldn't have to worry about me or your dad. Just focus on school. Mom, can I ask you something? Why? Why don't you just divorce dad? He doesn't treat you right, or me, or anyone for that matter. Well, I can't just divorce him like that. He's helped us do so much and he's my husband and your father. What will people think if I just divorce him just because of a few problems? A few problems? Was she fucking kidding me? Fighting with your alcoholic husband every night for six years straight was not a few problems. My mom was truly one of the most loving and caring people I knew. She really would have done anything to protect me, except of course the one thing I wanted most, leaving my dad. I felt so frustrated with her constant desire to keep our family together when clearly it was falling apart. Look, Veda, I know that it's hard. You don't understand now, but your dad needs us. Mom, please, you keep talking about what other people will think, but they're not the ones living in this house. Dad comes home every night drunk as shit, and you don't think I notice? If you think this family's normal, you're nuts. And newsflash, he isn't getting better anytime soon. Yeah, stop. We are family. Enough is enough. Every family has their issues. We just have to learn to adjust. You know what, Mom? You're never going to get it. You clearly don't care about me. I hate this family, and I hate you. Leo, wait. Where are you going? Please stop. Tonight.